This morning, Labour has revealed new analysis that shows Liz Truss and her Tory mini-budget has cost families who have remortgaged more than £200 extra a month. But it's not just Tory finances in the spotlight, of course. The cost of Labour's net zero plans is being questioned after Labour's Darren Jones was recorded telling an audience that going green could actually run up a bill going into hundreds of billions of pounds. Let's have a look at this. So we're still absolutely committed to it. It's still one of the top five priorities and it's going to be a huge amount of effort to get there. I think people have to move quite quickly. But a lot of the coverage and the news was about that specific 28, which uh, has turned this way. The sad conflict uh, made it sound as if we basically jumped the whole thing, but we don't know. Because some people would say that like 28 billion isn't enough. No, it's tiny. Like I've got people who were hundreds of billions of pounds we need. Well, the audio recording wasn't 100% clear, but hopefully you, you heard that. Uh, and joining us now is the man who made those comments, Shadow Chief Treasury to the Secretary, Darren Jones. Now, already the Conservatives have said and used this uh, as a way of saying, you know, even you didn't believe that there was money. Uh, the, I think it was £28 billion, as Keir Starmer said initially, would be costed. Now it's come down to five. Billion, but actually, you knew all along it was going to be hundreds of billions. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes, it is. Uh, it, but it's going to be paid for by the private sector. This isn't a secret plan from Labour. It's a promise. If we win the election next Thursday, we will unlock billions of pounds of investment in our country from the private sector. These are privately owned companies that own energy infrastructure in our company in our country who will want to they tell us they want to invest money uh, as we get to net zero by 2050 and i would just say to the telegraph or the conservative party whoever it was came to uh, secretly record me at a coffee morning in my constituency that they're very welcome to just book a ticket on my website like everybody else if they want to come uh, and i'd be very happy to answer their questions what it looks like, though, and taken out of context and, and done in that way, is though you're not being clear. Because, for instance, you say, oh, well, the hundreds of billions it would actually cost to achieve Labour's targets in terms of green changes and net zero plans. You say that it will come from private investment. But how do you know that those sums will come from private investment? Have you got hundreds of billion pounds of investors ready to sign? Uh, the day that you win, as you hope you do, the election? Or is it eventually, because this is what people fear, going to come back on our energy bills and in other ways, like tax? So it's based on Conservative Party policy. It's the Conservative Party that put into law that the country would reach net zero by 2050. And, of course, we support that in the Labour Party. And it's the Conservative government that pointed out, as has been fact-checked by independent fact-checkers, uh, since the Prime Minister raised this issue in the leaders' debate the other evening, that it's been the Conservative government that confirmed that hundreds of billions of pounds will be needed from the private sector. Uh, I was just reiterating the evidence, whether it's from the government, uh, business investors themselves, or from independent uh, experts. But to answer the second part of your question, uh, yes, the Labour Party has been working with uh, business investors, business owners, trade unions and others now for many years, preparing our manifesto for change. Uh, for this uh, election, should people vote for it next Thursday. And we hear from them that they have billions and billions of pounds of money that they want to invest in our country, but they can't because nothing works here anymore. We can't build anything. The planning system needs to be reformed. We need consistent policy. We need stability back into our politics and our economy so that investors can look to the UK and think that we're a safe bet as opposed to a risky bet, and then spending so, that money in other countries so around the world. So you definitely wouldn't need to increase our taxes, and we'll get on to which taxes is under scrutiny for a minute, uh, in a moment. And, you, and would these companies get guarantees from the government? Because that's where the concern comes in as well, doesn't it? And you definitely won't need to increase capital gains tax and other taxes that you haven't ruled out needing to yet as a party. Uh, no. So this is money that the private sector has that they want to invest in their in their businesses. Uh, but the key point there is that that won't be unlocked unless you have a government that's willing to, as I say, reform the planning system to put in clear policy and to have a government that gets away from the chaos we've seen from the Conservatives over the past few years, where everything is changing all the time, different prime ministers, different ministers, the market and the economy crashing. 
to stability and change with Labour, but that will only happen uh, if people go and vote for it next Thursday um, on polling day. Darren Jones, can we just level up, you know, on tax? Uh, Rachel Reeves mm. has said a Labour government would not raise taxes beyond a handful of measures, and you've been quite clear as a party what they are, uh, non-DOMs, VAT on schools and closing down tax uh, loopholes for gas giants and so on and so forth. But there are a bunch of other taxes, you know, uh, capital gains tax, tax, but most especially ones that affect lots of people, which is um, our council tax. Now, Sir Keir Starmer hasn't ruled out altering council tax bans. Can you rule that out? We don't need to make changes to council tax or any other type of well, tax that you've mentioned because our manifesto is fully costed and fully funded, as you've alluded to. People can look to the manifesto, labour.org.uk forward slash change, and they can see at the back of that manifesto uh, all of the maths that underpins Darren how Jones, we'll pay... Darren, forgive me, but um, the manifesto makes a point that the Labour Party is about fairness. It says it repeatedly um, throughout that document. So how is it fair... But just help me sort of understand this, that um, Buckingham Palace plays as much in council tax as a terraced house in Blackpool. Does that sound like a Labour Party policy that you would want to defend, given your commitment to fairness? Well, it's not a Labour Party policy, that's the case. It's just the way it is at the moment. And, of course, we would inherit the world as we uh, find it. Uh, but we are not uh, putting so, forward any plans your job to, is to change... Sorry, your job is to come in with new policies, to have a vision for Britain that, as you yeah. say, and commit, you commit yourself to, is trying to um, establish fairness, uh, mostly, um, as you claim, for the people who have the least power. That's always been the mission of the Labour Party. I just ask you, is it fair that Buckingham Palace pays as much council tax as a terrace house in Blackpool? Uh, and the answer you give me is, well, uh, yes, as far as I could gather. Well, just to challenge the start of the premise of your question, I mean, our manifesto is a manifesto for change. I mean, there's a whole ton of policies in there. Our six steps for clearing the NHS backlog, more teachers in our schools, police officers back on our street, tackling antisocial behaviour, dealing with the criminal gangs that's resulting in vulnerable people on small boats trying to seek asylum in this country, as well as our missions for decarbonising the power system, getting growth back into our economy, and uh, making the decisions that we need to to get uh, the country back on track after 14 years of failure, so where people can just to be clear, that, that's that's no answer. That the that's not answer. You, 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 your your no, answer is no, it is an answer. Your no, answer is you're not going to be. Forgive me. Your answer is you're not going to be raising council tax. Answering your question, well, you've suggested that we've not set out a program for change. We have. It's our manifesto. There's lots of there's lots of content. I think in what there. he was asking you is how do you think it's fair that Buckingham Palace pays the same amount of council tax as a terrace house? in Blackpool, and are you going to change that? That's all. Sure, no, I've answered that question. And as I've said, we have no plans to change council tax. So, no, but that doesn't mean that our manifesto for change doesn't offer a decade of national renewal. It does. And I think people, if they want change, they've got to go and vote for it next Thursday, because that's the only way we're going to get away from this continuous cycle of chaos uh, from the Conservatives that we've had to live through for the last 14 years. So, I mean, it's, we, we've got to go to the break, but uh, just to be clear... Well, you I know, think if you've you, got to go, Darren, haven't you? Yeah, you're, you're, you're going to be um, in due course, potentially the Shadow Secretary. Stay. That's all right. <laughs> Let me just go. There you are. Looking down at the camera for us, um, it's quite clear there will be, read my lips, no further tax rises under Labour. Is that right? Uh, oh, the ones we've made the commitment. Yeah, we've made the commitment not to increase income tax, national insurance Thanks. or VAT. All of our manifesto is fully funded and fully costed. Uh, there is no need to make changes to other taxes. Well, thank you very much, uh, Shadow Chief Secretary. I'll now. come back another time. I'm sorry I have to go. I've got to go and do LBC. No, well, no you're doubt a busy we'll, um, man. We'll... Good to talk to you this morning and come back again. Indeed. Yes, as you say, because we're always right. interested, right. especially over these next few days, yeah. in talking to all yeah. our senior politicians. Thank um, you very much indeed. Thank you. We'll play that back to him, Kate, when we're with each other. Who knows?